I'm Gordon Vanderpool from Franklin, North Carolina with Turning Stones Fly Fishing and I'm going to give you a few techniques and pointers on how to fly fish for trout. What you're going to need is access to an experienced guide. You could either go to the local fly shop and just ask some questions and go and try it on your own, which we encourage that, or just get a local guide. He's already going to take the guesswork out of it for you. I'm going to walk up and look at it. I'm going to look at a pool and, and watch it. And if I see anything rising, I want to pay attention to what kind of insect that is. And if I don't see anything going on, then I'll move over to the stream side vegetation. I'll shake it around and see if anything flies away. And the reason I do that is when insects hatch, they fly over to the vegetation. That's where they're going to mate. So when you don't see them flying, that's where you're going to find them if there's anything going on. And if I don't find anything there that really helps me, then I'll wade out into the stream into an area that I know is fishy where trout are going to be, and I'll just start turning over rocks and I'll get an idea of what's crawling around. Say I see fish feeding on the surface, but I don't see anything flying. I don't see anything on the surface. And that can be tricky to a beginner. They're like, well, they're, they look like they're feeding on the surface, but I don't see any flies. Well, that's probably an emerger. And that fly is stuck right in the meniscus, which is called the water surface. That's the meniscus, and he's stuck right below the surface film. Well, once yeah. I find out kind of what's going on, if I see two or three things that I think, okay, I could probably pick up fish that way, I found this fly, then I go into my box, I break it down, I pick out three or four bugs and I just start. Process of elimination. I may fish on the surface first. If there's nothing, I like to nymph. I like to go subsurface. That's where the action is. So if there's nothing going on, I'll go under there and I'll just start going through the flies that I thought would be close to what was underneath the rocks. And those are some tips and pointers for how to fly fish for trout here in the mountains.